Did you know that in India, two wheelers are one of the most prevalent and economical means of transport for teenagers to go to school, tuition classes, or to simply enjoy a quick ride through their neighborhood? Yet, this is usually plagued with unsafe roads, reckless traffic, rising pollution, and a lack of safety awareness, leaving particularly young riders at risk. When I was a little girl, one of my favorite things to do was to cycle around my neighborhood with my cousins. Of course, my mother, like any cautious mother, didn't quite share her enthusiasm for adventure. She would send up poor security guard trailing behind my sister and I. We absolutely hated it. In fact, sometimes we even plotted little escape missions to outsmart him and ride away freely. But one evening, when I was just eight years old, my cleverness caught up with me. While cycling in our colony park, I lost balance, fell and hit my head hard. I remember lying there, dazed, bleeding, and very much alone. And that was the day I realized something very, very important. Sometimes the things we resist the most, like safety, are the things we need the most. I'm sure everyone sitting here can relate to such mishaps in one way or another. Did you know that in India, one teenager dies every hour in a road accident? Most of these accidents involve two-wheelers and many are linked to overspeeding, rash driving or helmetless riding. It's heartbreaking to see how many children just 14 to 18 years old are lost this way. Almost everyone in India who has ridden a scooter or a bike has done so without wearing a helmet at least once in their lives. Even when helmets are worn, they are, or they are of poor quality. In 2019 alone, not wearing helmets caused approximately 45,000 deaths. That's nearly 30% of all road accident fatalities. And yet, the solution is so clear. The World Health Organization reports that wearing the correct helmet could reduce the risk of fatal injuries by 42% and the risk of head injuries by approximately 70%. And so, when I noticed that even my friends and family were careless about helmets, wearing them rarely or using them incorrectly, I knew I had to do something. Together with traffic police, school authorities and families, we identified the urgent need for a low-cost, smart helmet that could do more than just protect. It could educate, engage and connect. And that's how our smart helmet was born. We designed it with integrated features such as GPS location tracking, geofencing, fall detection, and even air quality sensors so that the helmet is not a burden but a meaningful part of everyday safety. To keep it lightweight and eco-friendly, we used bio-based nylon for the outer casing and bespoke 3D, 3D printing for the liners shaped to uh, fit children's varied head sizes. TPU liners absorb impact and along with a cylindrical port system with variable stiffness to adjust and absorb shocks in the areas that need it the most. As children grow, these pods can be replaceable to make the helmet both long-lasting and sustainable. Our helmet includes unique features such as real-time location plus geofencing alert, which enables parents to track a child beyond a safe zone via an app or Google Maps. A gamified fitness tracker, which calculates information such as distance, speed, and time, enabling children to later earn rewards and achievements. A built-in walkie-talkie with voice commands, which enables immediate contact and a voice call to parents in case of an emergency. A fall detection plus instant SOS alert, which uh, provides fall alerts and an optional SOS button to alert parents if something goes wrong. And lastly, an air quality sensor, which gives out sun and air alerts and also provides smart tips like wear, uh, wear a mask or take a break. And we didn't stop there. We plan to strengthen our fall detection system through multi-sensor fusion, combining gyroscopes and accelerometers, as well as using algori uh, algorithms to distinguish between a minor bump or a serious fall. Uh, times when GPS signals are weak, Wi-Fi triangulation can step in to maintain accurate tracking. Parents will also have the ability to lock critical settings such as GPS. Of course, none of this matters if the children don't actually wear the helmet. So, we decided to make it fun and interactive, badges, rewards and achievements to promote consistent and safe riding practices. 
transforming a burdensome and inconvenient helmet use into an exciting and helpful experience. We've also considered the environments these helmets must withstand to ensure durability, the electronics are housed in dustproof and waterproof enclosures, as well as weather-resistant materials and coatings to stand up to heat, dust, and rain. And finally, moving to the next phase, we plan to integrate AI-powered insights. By analyzing right patterns, AI can highlight risky behaviors, detect any unusual activity, as well as provide personalized safety advice to both children and parents. When I was eight, I wanted nothing more than to escape my security guard and ride away freely. Today, I want every child to have that same freedom, but without the fear. And maybe, just maybe, one day the children won't be plotting ways to escape their helmets, but they'll be showing off the badges they won. This smart helmet began as an idea to protect children, but it has grown into a vision. A vision of safer cities, more reassured and responsible families, and a future where technology isn't just smart, but also compassionate. Um, because protecting our young riders isn't just about helmets or sensors or apps. It's about giving them the thrill to the thrill of the ride, the courage to explore, and the promise of coming back home safe. And that's a future worth building together.